Yes, I understand we are carrying a lot of weight, a lot of pressures of life that may seem to be breaking the shoulders of our lives, but to some extent you can still love the Lord. Amen. Ah! Hallelujah. When the nyumba imefunga, but you can still afford Amen. to love Amen. the Lord. He may not have answered your prayers, you may have expected him to. Amen. By today, but there is something you can do. Una kitu unaweza kufanya. You can still love the Lord. Unaweza penda Mungu tena. I had someone who can love the Lord. Kuna mtu anaweza mpenda Mungu. Ah, listen to me somebody in the house of God. Nataka usikize hii katika nyumba ya Baba. The Bible tells me. Biblia inaniambia that Job lost the animals. Job alipotesha wanyama. He lost the children. Alipotesha watoto. He lost all he had. Alipotesha kila kitu alikuwa nacho. But he kept the faith. Lakini alilinda imani. Amen. You can keep the faith. Unaweza kulinda imani. Amen. Ah, somebody can keep the faith. Unaweza kulinda imani. You can keep the faith. Unaweza kulinda imani. Yes. Job bless but you keep the faith. Kuna kazi ina lakini unaweza kulinda imani. The marriage is not working but you can keep the faith. Roho haifanyi kazi lakini unaweza kulinda imani. It is too expensive to lose the faith. Ni vigumu kuwa kulinda imani. Oh my god. Oh, Mungu wangu. Connect with somebody who is ready to keep the faith. Ah, jiunganishe na mtu anayeweza kulinda imani. Ah, somebody tell your neighbor neighbor. Kaukea jirani mwambie jirani. Yes, it is as it is. Ah, hii iko ndivyo jinsi ilivyo. But you can keep the faith. Lakini unaweza kulinda imani. It may not be working as you wanted it. Inaweza kuwa ifanyiki chuchu nimotaka. But shout to him and tell him. Lakini kaukea yeye mwinu kumuinulia sauti. And tell him keep the faith. Mwambie alinde imani. Hallelujah. Amen. You are an orphan but keep the faith. Ah wewe yatima linda imani. You are a widow yes but keep the faith. Ah wewe mchana linda imani. You are so blessed but keep the faith. Ah hauna kazi linda imani. Listen to me. Ah this is a kidogo. The Bible tells me. Ah Biblia inaniambia about this man by the name Saul. Ah kupita huyu mtu anaitwa Sauli. Saul whose name is Paul. Sauli jina lake ambaye ni Paulo. He was raised by terrorist pastors. Alikuwa ameinuliwa na watu wachungaji mikora. What we call religious leaders. Walioitwa watu wa dini to be a terrorist of Christ. Ili waweze kukua waasi katika wakristo. While he thought that he was serving God. Lakini wakati aliambiwa atatumikia Baba. By killing Christians. Ah, kwa sababu ya kumuua wa wakristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Ah, listen to me. Ah, nisikize kidogo. Maybe you don't know Paul. Labda hauijui Paulo. His name Saul, Saul it simply means likikuwa linamaanisha he comes a lineage of kings alikuwa ametoka katika jamii ya kifalme and that's why he's called after the name of the first king kwa sababu aliitwa jina linaitwa kifalme in other words he was peculiar kwa sababu alikuwa mtu wa mamlaka he was of authority alikuwa na uwezo he could not be Hakeweza ku hakeweza kuendelea kinyume Saul was a name Saul ilikuwa jina Ah, si tu veux, 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 veux,
wake wacha nivutie tena together with my daughter Gracia wacha na mtoto m- 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 wake Precious we have made up our mind wameamua katika akili zao that in this season katika wakati kama huu we shall praise the Lord tutamtumikia Bwana so what is stop kwa sababu ya kila kimetenda He stopped in Salaya Sabalala. Ile nja ilikuwa inaitwa nawa mara moja. The Lord stopped it. Mungu alisimamisha. He has stopped Ebola. Amesimamisha Ebola. Amen. Ebola was running after men. Ebola ilikuwa inakimbisha watu. But something funny. But kitu ambacho ni cha ajabu. It is running away from me. Ilikuwa inakimbia kwa nini? Ah, ilikuwa inanikimbia before it reached to me. Kama ifike kwangu, the Lord stopped Mungu alisimamisha. Ah, ah. He has stopped cancer. Alisimamisha cancer. Amen. Cancer is a vocabulary ah. you can never find in the dictionary of my life. Huwezi kuona katika kitabu cha maisha. Ah, ah. He has stopped HIV. Alisimamisha ukimwi. Oh, yes. I don't know about you. Ah, sijui kuhusu wewe. I want to introduce a God in this house. Anataka kuwakilisha. Amen. Mungu katika nyumba hii. In whose grace you walk. Na hiyo neema itafanya kazi. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, Kuna kitu kinafanyika. Amen. Ah, nisikize. He has stopped HIV. Alisimamisha ukimwi and he has stopped corona. Ameisimamisha corona. Moses was busy with his father in law wakati Musa alikuwa akichunga zile kondo zake he saw a burning bush aliona moto ikichiti kikiwaka moto and he refused to give it his attention na alikataa kuweza kuangalia na kufocus kwa hiyo kichiti because Moses is used to the fires in the desert kwa sababu Musa alikuwa amezoea moto katika cha and it's like every fire comes and it goes out alikuwa amezoea moto yote inakuja huwa inaenda but something funny lakini kaajabu in this fire katika huu moto it was not consuming the bush haikuwa inachoma kichiti and then moses says lazima musa akasema this one huu moto i will give it my attention nitaweka macho ni focus yao when he gave it his attention na wakati alipojielekeza pale he noticed Ah, he got a revelation. Alipokea ufunuo that he was the one supposed to be run after Pharaoh. Na alikuwa yeye hapa angeweza kwenda kwa Farao. Ah. Ah. Hallelujah. Ah. Imeka. Ah, imekuwa ngumu. Ah. 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 Inside of the fire. Katika ndani ya moto. Moses got a revelation. Ah, Musa akapokea ufunuo. And he realized. Bara na katambua. He was the one. Alikuwa ni yeye to chase Yourself, ah, you and encourage yourself. Ah, 
Kilishikie moyo. Give your attention to the fire. Wewe sababu nani katika hiyo moto? The fire of the Holy Spirit. Moto wa Roho Mtakatifu. It is burning in this house. Ana wakadari ya nyumba hii. It is burning cancer yeah. in here. Ana choma ukimwi. It is burning cancer here. Ana choma ukimwi. It is burning stroke here. Ana choma kushoko hapa. Pressures and heart issues. Pressure na mambo mengine. I hear the Lord say. Ninafikia bwana kifo. Yeah. You give me your attention. Wakati utanipa mwelekeo wako. Yet to do it for you. Niko pia nikutane so that you may know. Ili uweze kujua. I am the Lord. Mimi ndiye bwana. Call you by your name. Nimekuita kwa jina lako. So can I lift up your hand? Ah, kutainue mkono juu. And praise the Lord. Ah, pigia bwana wako. Mimi stop. Tikala amesongea. So what is stop? Ah, so kila amesema. So what is stop? Kila amesema. So what is stop? Kila amesimamisha. So what is stop? Kila amesimamisha. He has stopped some things. Amesimamisha vitu fulani. Which if he would allow to come your way. Kama vingekuja kimekamrisha hivi kwa nsimu yao. Vige kuchoma tonight in the name of Jesus. Jana wa leo siku ya leo. I stand on the foundation of my life. Nimesimama katika misingi ya neno la Bwana. Grace the operating of my life. Na neema na mamlaka ndio pale. Bring this to an end. Mutangaza hii na hii. Bring it to an end. Hallelujah. Mungu 